Hey guys, Jeff here at Zip Hearing. We are the place to buy hearing aids online with local service included. And today I'm gonna to talk about rechargeable hearing aids. Now, people are always surprised to hear that most hearing aid batteries only last about a week. Now, they're, they're pretty easy to change and most hearing aids will give you an alert. It'll sound like battery or maybe it'll be a ding. Uh, so you know it's time to change it. Uh, but then you just open the battery door, put a new battery in and you're set for a week. But I get that this can be a hassle, especially if you have um, dexterity issues or vision problems. Uh, it's a lot easier in that case to use rechargeable hearing aids. So in front of me here, I have two types of rechargeable hearing aids, and this is what you'll have to choose between. They each have their pros and cons. Let's get into them. Here, we have a hearing aid powered by a silver zinc rechargeable battery. Let's zoom in on this. So this is a silver zinc rechargeable battery, and this is a regular hearing aid battery, a disposable traditional battery. You can see they look almost identical. The difference is, is in the silver zinc rechargeable battery, it can be used over and over again. You just charge it when you're not in use and it'll fully recharge in three to four hours and then provide power for a full day. Um, so here's how the charging works. When you're not wearing the hearing aid, you just set it in the little charging stand, wait for the green lights to start flashing, and a few hours later, you'll see a solid green light, and that means you're fully charged up. Now, one of the nice things about this kind of rechargeable battery is if you ever run out of power, you just pop a regular disposable battery into it and it'll work just fine. A silver zinc battery will last you about a year, and after that, you'll have to buy a new one, usually around $30 to $40 each. Now here, we have a hearing aid powered by a lithium ion battery, the same kind of battery that is used in cell phones, electric toothbrushes, um, some digital cameras. You probably have several devices powered by lithium ion batteries. Uh, now, just like a silver zinc rechargeable battery, you just put the aid in the charger when it's not in use. You'll get color indicators telling you the charge status, and in around three to five hours, the aid is fully charged up. Um, I love this kind of battery. This hearing aid is so easy to use, low maintenance, um, but there are a couple caveats to it. Uh, first is you're totally reliant on it. So the lithium ion battery is built into the unit and if your battery dies, that means you're out of luck. Uh, you can't just use regular disposable batteries in this type of a hearing aid. Uh, so you always have to be prepared. The other drawback to lithium ion batteries is they only last about three to four years and they could be a couple hundred dollars to replace. So whether you choose lithium ion or silver or zinc, uh, you've got some costs to consider down the road. Um, you're either buying batteries once a year or once every three to four years. And at the end of the day, that expense is gonna equal as much or more than just using traditional disposable batteries. Uh, so if you choose to use rechargeable hearing aids, don't do it for, for financial reasons. You just can't justify it. Uh, you typically do pay a slightly higher price upfront for these kind of hearing aids as well. Uh, and then because you're still buying rechargeable batteries over time, that wipes out any savings you might have achieved from not using disposable batteries. So do it for the convenience and to not fill landfills with more batteries. Uh, don't do it to save money, you probably won't. So which kind of battery do I think is better? You know, we've sold hundreds uh, of each of these units and I gotta say, I do lean slightly towards lithium ion batteries. I don't think I've ever heard of an issue of a battery not lasting a full day. Uh, now in fairness, lithium ion batteries have only been out, at least in hearing aids, uh, for a couple years. So maybe I'll end up being surprised, but so far, so good. Uh, I have just found them to be very reliable. And the other advantage to um, hearing aids that use this kind of battery is they have very high IP ratings. Uh, they're pretty moisture and dust resistant because since there isn't a battery door to be open and closing, there's fewer moving pieces and there's a lot less areas for oil and moisture to creep in, uh, which makes these hearing aids very reliable over time. Uh, and silver zinc batteries are great, but I just have heard of a few instances where the batteries weren't, weren't lasting a full day. Uh, and some of that could be maybe the user isn't charging them properly or storing them properly or keeping them clean. Who knows? I just, I have had a few more issues with that type of battery. It's all something to discuss with an experienced local hearing provider, though a lot of people do very well with this system. Um, but I do recommend both types by and large. They're both great options. It just comes down to which fits your lifestyle better. And that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment. If you're ready to set up a local consultation with a zip hearing provider near you, just click the link in the description and we'll be in touch with you shortly. And if you like this video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.